Hello and welcome again to DigitalCameraTutorials.com In this tutorial I want to show you how to go through the process of burning or writing files to a CD. Burning and writing are the same thing. Writing indicates that the, there's information being sent to the CD and burning indicates that the laser is actually copying it onto the CD. It's the same thing. So what we first need to do is to locate some photos. So we're going to start and go to My Pictures and I have a number of folders here and I'm going to open one of these folders to see lots of photos in here and I want to send all of these photos to my CD drive. So I come back out of there that's this folder here so I'll right click on it and I'm going to send to the DVD drive. Now when I click on that a little window will open to say you're copying these to the CD drive. Do you want to copy everything? And I simply say yes to every time it asks me that. So I've copied that now to the CD drive. I might want to go and copy some other folder to the CD drive. We'll take this one here, we'll right click on it, send to the DVD drive and click on that. And again it will go through the same process asking me do I want to copy everything and I do. Now this little balloon down here has opened to say that I have files waiting to be written to the CD. If I double click on this it will open up a window which will allow me to send the f to burn the, f the photos to the CD. Much better is to simply close this up here and go into my computer and go to the DVD drive and it shows me the two f f uh, folders with all the files in it that I want to send to the CD. So I now simply go here and say write these files to the CD. So I click on that and it asks me what do I want to call the CD? So I'm going to call this CD Photos. And I'll click Next. It now asks me to please insert a blank CD. Now the types that I can insert are CD-R and CD-RW. That means CDs that, are, that you can write to or CDs that you can rewrite later. So you can write to them once or write to them many times for the RWs. Once it recognizes that there's a CD in the CD drive, it then starts to copy it, as I've asked it to do. So it gives me an estimation here. It says 25 seconds, roughly, for it to finish this. Uh, don't rely on that too, too much. The 25 seconds could be a minute and 25 seconds, or it could be 25 seconds, depending on the speed of your computer, the quality of the disk that you're using for writing, and whether you're asking the computer to do other processes at the same time. So at the moment you can see it's running through it fairly quickly. So it's down to 10 seconds now, shortly it'll be 5 seconds, and when it's finished the CD will pop out of the tray. The tray will open and it'll come out. It says to me here that it's completing the writing and if I wanted to make another copy I could, but I'm finished, I just simply click on finish. These temporary files then disappear, indicating that they've been written to the CD and that's the end of that. Now, if I close this up and just push the tray back in, just to prove to myself that the photos have been written to the CD, I put the, put the, tr the CD back in the tray and it comes in and very shortly it'll recognize that there's a CD in the tray and it'll ask me what do I want to do. So here you can see the autoplay function. The little window will open here and it'll say what do you want to do with the CD that's in there. I'm going to open a folder to view the files and when it opens up it should show me the two folders that I have copied to my CD. And here they are and if I click on either of them I can go in and view the various photos that, that I have after copying. So I'll view the thumbnails here and there are all the photos that I've tried to copy and I'm reading them now from the CD. So it's as simple as that, finding the photos, right clicking sending to them, them to the CD drive and then later opening your CD drive and telling the computer to write the folders to a CD. DigitalCameraTutorials.com